What's well, going on guys, I go by the name L-O-Y-C-O-N and it's Kanisa and you are watching Face to Face on Vox Africa. Hey, of Lagos. Skunny, sir. Kiki, run. Oh yeah, put your lighters up if you know say you go represent. Oh, ah, wow, wow, okay, you get the evidence. Too much of color and to intelligence. So shall we? I wrote Verified, the chorus itself. I wrote the Put Your Lighters Up, if you know say you could represent 2000 and... I wrote it in 2019. So, I wrote it to a trap beat. <laughs> I swear. So the thing is, bum bum, put your lighters up, if you don't say you go represent, bum bum, ah wah wah, okay, you get the evidence, bum bum, too much of a lot of intelligence, bum bum, I was confirmed, bum bum, hey, you see, we did verify, bum bum, hey, you see, that was how I wrote the song on, then I sang it for Q, which crazily, Q produced fierce, so I, I was like, Q, this is the song, I sent him a voice note, this guy sent me an entirely different beat. I was like, what is going on? He said, this is the beat, come, let's work in it. So I worked, I, went, I recorded the song. Uh, but for who is Lekon, yeah, so there was a goal to explain who I am, the kind of person I am. And that song, that verified song sounded, didn't fit into the story I was trying to put out with Wiz Lekon. So I said, you stay, you're going to come out soon later so i went into the house i came out of the house and there's a verse ready from me i'm like wow okay so i linked that uh, we still have obviously i still had to make adjustments in the song together and all and that's how we have verified so i mean there's a lot of conception like oh oh i mean the chorus for for some people saying oh you were repeating or you were backing up what you were saying I actually created the chorus in 2019. So, I mean, the song is actually a wonderful song. The video is... My love for music, how I got into singing or rapping music as a whole. Man, I've always known I would be an artist. I mean, I've as long as i can remember music has always been something i wanted to do so it's not like i was born into music per se but i had to like learn a lot of things about music i had to learn how to rap the first rap song i got introduced to was how we do 50 cent and game but before then i've been singing obviously i sing fuji songs i sing afro beat songs i would sing uh Akbala songs i also sing uh people like two-face uh, I, I, I've been singing their songs and all that, but yeah, rap rap itself, I got introduced to it by uh, a friend of mine in secondary school, uh, the name of the song is How We Do 50 Cent and the Game, And but the first rap song that I actually know, or I actually knew, was Camilo Nier Riding Dirty from top to bottom, so what I do is, I, get, I take all those rap songs, them Lil Wayne, uh, Jay-Z, uh, 50 Cent, Kanye West, Common, um, Andre 3000. So I take their songs, they've got a flow already. So I just replace their lyrics with my lyrics using their flows. That's how I taught myself. But people like Eminem, I had to go print out lyrics and learn his own. So I mean, there was a lot of process that I had to go through to actually become the kind of artist that I am and I'm still actually still going through those processes because for every stage of my life as an artist I feel like you have to do something that you didn't do previously to get to the next level. I mean 
mean for music music for me has always been something that i invest my time and energy into whatever decision i make for myself uh the end goal has to be is it going to help me musically so there was a point where i could have i could have uh became uh i could have gone on to become a footballer yeah so i was supposed to go on trial for a club but a club in london actually i was supposed to go on trial for that club i sent them a video and they actually yeah you're good you're good come for a trial but then i had to make that decision because i know that if i had gone then that's it for music so i, I stuck with music at that point and since then every decision i've actually made has been for my music so music is part of my life it's part of my heritage and it's hopefully something that would be part of my legacy i mean in nigeria yeah yeah definitely listen to rappers mood nine mi vector six foot plus there is uh, two shots i mean there's rappers that i listened to growing up there's uh uh this guy in style plus i think it's shifi that always rap in style plus and uh, yeah so I, I basically just learn from different different uh people really i i feel like there's an element in somebody that you can't get in somebody else thing about my shall we begin album yeah you listen to the album and you just see different types of vibes it shows my versatility as an artist not just as a rapper there's a hip-hop song god body uh there's a i'm a piano song all over me there's a afro pop song there is high life there is uh there is pop different type of vibes really so i mean that's just me as an artist i feel like i i've learned so much about different sounds because i consume different sounds to the extent where i feel like i could actually apply these things to rap and hence that's why i always say my genre is afro rap Like I went out of my way to get into the house. No, I saw the link and I'm like, what's the downside? The upside is I'm going there to promote my music. For the last time, I'm going to check the envelope this season. The winner of the Big Brother Niger lockdown season is Lakers! I really haven't I've never been to that kind of thing before I've never I didn't really used to watch it that much so I didn't even really know what it entails but all I did know was people always talk about this thing people always talk about the people there so I would go there and start talking about my music hence the only thing they would have to talk about concerning me would be my music regardless of if I spent a week or two there so that was the decision that was what inf influenced my decision into going to the house nothing else really the truth is you probably asked some of my uh, mates while we were in the house it was one day we were doing one task that the guy said oh that's the car that the winner will win and that was like the eighth week or the seventh week i was like oh, oh so the winner is going to get the car because i didn't even know what we were going to win it was when i came out of the house and they were started they started listing some things that said the winner is going to get this the winner is going to get all i knew was okay the winner would probably get money or something but i didn't know the winner was going to get some other things and it was when they started listing it at the price giving thing that i'm like oh okay wow so th that was that was how uninformed I was or that was how uninterested I was about going there to play the game and then win and then I was so so uh so so consumed with the fact that I am going to be in a space where I'll be able to project my music to a large audience and that was the only thing in my head to the point where I didn't even know think about the are looking for other information that I needed to go there and play any game or whatever it is that 
I needed to do there. I didn't go there to be cautious. I didn't go there to be, uh, I didn't go there to play any game or, or act in some type of way. Because what I do know is you listen to my music and you look at me and you hear me talk, you are definitely going to find a connection. So it's not sensible to go in there and start acting differently because it will tell regardless. Because, and another thing is when you go there and you pretend for a couple of weeks, you come out and you're known forever and ever. So you have to actually kind of like show your true color in the end so that kind of thing but for me it was really go there promote who is lecon ep that ep has over 40 million streams last time i checked and that was like three four months ago by the way and before i went to the house that 103 000 streams so i mean going into the house actually has worked well for me and it has, it has helped me push my music to a larger audience and gotten me to where i'm at today this is I graduated the University of Lagos, I attended the University of Lagos, studied philosophy and took minor courses in history and international relations. I, my final year 2016, I put out an EP titled Young, Black and Gifted. So uh, after that, then I put out two other EPs, Any Given Monday 1, Any Given Monday 2. You check out, you check out my discography, you see this uh, project out there. And then in 2020, I put out an EP titled Who is Lay Khan? And that EP came out in April, I think 3rd of April 2020. And yeah, that EP, because of the EP was, I, I went to the Big Brother Niger house because of that EP, because I went to, that's why I say every decision I make is kind of like atta attached to my music. Because there was lockdown, yeah. Basically, I couldn't promote the music the way I wanted to. So I felt, what can I do? So I just saw the link to the Big Brother thing and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll go here. I'll go, I'll go promote my EP there. And yeah, that's what I went to do. Uh, fortunately for me, I won the show, and yeah, that that's gotten us to where we are right now, a Grammy performing artist. Because I enjoy what I do. Basically, my music is fun music like relatable music so it's like i i don't try to prove any point to anybody i'm just creating music for people who have kind of shared the same experience as i have and will listen to that music and find a beat of themselves in the music so it's not like you leave that experience the same way i did what you leave that experience in another form and so you're just yeah, I can relate to that. It's not like I lived it, but I can relate to that. I can picture that happening to me. I pictured that happening to me before. That's the kind of music I create. So, I mean, I could create a fast rap song and still people will be able to relate to it. But I do feel like it's just, it comes with the mood, yeah. If I'm in the mood to do that kind of thing in a song, I'll probably do it. Yeah.